I guess I got into disc golf when I was about somewhere around four years old. I uh, started on a course called uh, Ocalo or Johnson Street. It's in High Point, North Carolina. And um, my dad actually found the course. We moved to North Carolina from California. And he was kind of exploring the neighborhood and everything. And the course is just through the woods. And he found it one day. And we just started playing with Frisbees and kind of got into it. It was fun for both of us to go out there and kept playing. Started to get involved with the club, uh, met some more experienced people, stuck with the sport, and uh, we both really enjoyed it. So we uh, played for a couple years, started playing the local club events, and it kind of transpired from there. And several years later, I started playing PDG events, and uh, I, I loved the sport, so I wanted to keep moving forward. And uh, in 2004, I played my first junior world championship when I was. I believe I was nine years old, I think, and um, I took first place there, and uh, that was really cool for me to be able to play with competitors from all over and really see what the sport was. I mean, I believe at that tournament there was, there was definitely over 500 people, and it was just a big moment for me to get out of the state and play and really see what it's all about. I just kept playing from there because I loved it. And I played more tournaments every year. I kept getting better. And I went to Worlds next year and won 10 and under again. Came back and played uh, the 13 and under division and won that two times in a row. And then I decided to bump up to 19 and under the next year and I, I took that. Um, after that I decided to bump up to advanced division because my long term goal was to go pro and I didn't really know when that was going to happen but I figured the next step would be trying to win the advanced world title and in 2009 I took second place and I was, I was a little bummed because I really wanted to win but I uh, decided to maintain my amateur status another year, and I played a couple big events like Am Nats and, and um, Bowling Green in the World Championships again, and ended up winning. And I went pro in 2010. And ever since then, I've uh, I've been playing a few big tournaments here and there. I took 11th place at the Professional World Championships in 2011. And um, I think I took 27th uh, last year in Charlotte, but um, I've had a great time playing the sport. I love it. Another part of uh, the disc golf game that's always been important to me is uh, throwing distance. I guess I kind of got involved throwing distance at a young age because a couple guys in my club noticed that I <laughs> I could get it out there pretty far for being so young and uh, my dad started doing some research and looking up what the world records are and we figured we'd give it a try and I just started practicing distance putting distance on and um, when I was nine years old I went for the nine-year-old world distance record and my first attempt, I didn't get it. I came up a few feet short, but with some more practice and a couple months later, I set my first world distance record at 343 feet. That's since been broken, but that was definitely another part that made me become more involved in the game. Another, another title that I could add that was just important to me and um, made, me, made me feel like I had accomplished something big when I was young made me want to keep with it so I stuck with throwing distance too just like disc golf it's something I did you know I'd, I'd get out from school I'd either go to the course or I'd go to the field and either throw distance or play disc golf and every uh, every winter I would 
focus on throwing distance more so than disc golf, just because I guess it's cold. I didn't want to play rounds, maybe just get out in the field 30 minutes, throw 30 or 40 distance shots, and then call it quits, just because there wasn't as many tournaments going on and I didn't need to focus on it as much. But we always made an attempt in the spring to go out and have some sort of distance event or distance competition to try and set a record. And that's pretty much what I've done every year since I've been nine years old. And I've broken every age record up until the overall men's world distance record. And I did that um, last year out in Nevada. I threw it uh, 836 feet. And I definitely say that's my biggest accomplishment so far as a disc golfer. That was, that was really cool for me to get out there and, and throw it that far. Because ever since I was little, I, I always looked up at Christian Sancher throwing it 820 feet like, oh my gosh, what is this guy doing? Is that, is that even human? And uh, I put on distance over the years and I'm like, you know what, maybe, maybe this is possible. Maybe I can get it out that far. And with some practice, I eventually got there. And, it was really cool to be able to break that record. It's a little bit of a challenge trying to trying to do school and disc golf at the same time, but you know you gotta balance them both. Because I try and be a good student as well as a good disc golfer. Every day I go to school, then I come home and I go to the course, get some practice in, go home, do some homework, and uh, it's a lot tougher in the winter because the days are a lot shorter. But I managed to uh, get some practice in, less in the winter, but. You know, there aren't as many tournaments, so it's not as big of a deal. But school definitely is, at least right now, limits what I can do as far as disc golf goes and traveling and everything. I'd really like to be able to tour for a year or something like that, but we'll see how it goes. I'm a senior in high school right now, and uh, I applied to a few colleges and um, waiting to hear back from them. I'm not sure yet. One's in Louisiana and one's in New York, but... Um, We'll see how that goes. I haven't made any final decisions um, of where I'm going yet, but I definitely plan on continuing to play disc golf, continuing to throw in distance, and um, but I don't want to limit to myself to just disc golf. I'd like to keep my opportunities open to where if I want to do something besides disc golf one day, I'll be able to. Definitely like to thank uh, Innova Disc Golf, Phoenix Disc Golf, Scientific Disc Golf, and uh, Big Rip. Those are all my sponsors right now.